Hey dolls, this is going to be an eat pretty video um, and like fall AF. It's going to be butternut squash ravioli. I did the, um, in my fall pamper routine, this is what I was making myself for dinner and um, I wanted to just give it a whole, whole own video, if that makes sense, um, just on how to make it. Um, this is completely vegan, dairy free. Um, if you can have dairy, that's like cool for you. You can do, you add your own substitutions, whatever you want. So what we start with, and I'll have like better measurements and stuff on the blog because I literally am so bad with measurements, but I'll make sure to get that up all like written out and everything. So this butternut squash ravioli is like a fall fave of mine, especially this year since I have found out about even more of my um, food allergies. So this one is like such a indulgent comfort food and I like literally love it so much. So, and I do want to say that like you can, I'm, this is butternut squash ravioli, but I use um, for like my ravioli, I use this vegan wonton wraps and I actually kind of accidentally made them into like crunchy wontons and I kind of don't hate it and I kind of like it more um but if you want them to be like actually ravioli just you just sit on a lower heat and don't cook them as long um higher heat will make them crunchy so I just take like this smallish butternut squash and then I'm going to bake this this is what takes like literally the longest part you have to bake it for like over an hour to get it nice and soft and stuff, and then it turns, then you mush it in with all the other ingredients. Um, but I will talk about the other ingredients. We have fresh sage. I will chop all this up, and it smells so good. I add like probably all of this. Honestly, I love the sage. Um, I will shred up this vegan parmesan, um, and again, I'll put all the measurements out later. This. I use this Earth Balance Original Butter. It is vegan, and this is one that I've used for so long, but, so obviously I bought the huge thing. This one does, this one does contain soy, so now that I know what soy does to my body and that like it's not the best, and not that I eat this every day, because I don't, but I'm trying to use the rest of this up, um, but I would suggest getting the soy-free one. And then, you can use fresh garlic by all means. This one just kind of, for certain things I love using fresh garlic, but this one I'll just throw um, a ton of garlic in because I'm a garlic fiend. The creamy aspect of this, the inside of the ravioli, is the garlic herb tree line, tree nut, French style soft cheese. And um, I prefer the herb and garlic one for this specific recipe. Um, and the measurement for this one is the whole dang thing. It's dairy free, let's see, gluten free, soy free, which we love some soy free, and of course vegan. Fresh cracked pepper, I'm like such a fiend for some fresh black pepper, don't know what it is. Um, and then pink salt, and then we're gonna use a splash of nutmeg because it's fall and this is going to be so good. So for this, um, the first part is we are literally going to have to cut the butternut squash in half and bake it. And you know what? Hey, actually, babe, can you come cut this for me? I yeah. accidentally injured myself trying to do this. Thank you. Cut hand off. I know. <laughs> this knife is not. Which knife do you want? He said, the marble one. Gotta keep the aesthetic. I love him so much. Alright, there you go. Do you just want it in half or do you want it? Yeah, in half. Oh yeah, and so you're gonna take this and you're going to like take a spoon and just spoon the, the seeds out 
and um, then you're gonna pop it in the oven. Okay, so the butternut squash has baked in the oven and has cooled. And so it's gonna like look like this, be like wrinkly and kind of mushy, which is what we want. So for me, what I do is I will take like a spoon and kind of like, because this skin is kind of like leathery. Obviously you won't have like the outside of the skin, but like, We'll just like peel. Maybe we won't. We'll just like peel like the leathery dried out kind of part. I mean, if you want that, leave it. Oh man, it smells so good. Okay. So if you want that, like that's cool. Just a preference thing on my part. So you're just going to spoon the butternut squash into... I put mine in a Tupperware. You can just do it in a mixing bowl. Like, there's only, like, me and Carter that are eating this. So I like to make it fresh. So, like, I literally will just keep the mixture the insides of the ravioli like in this tupperware okay so i have all of the butternut squash in my tupperware and then i'm going to take my um minced garlic cloves freshly chopped sage leaves and my freshly grated vegan parmesan. And then I'm going to take my soft French cream cheese, also vegan. And I literally use this whole thing. And then I take fresh cracked pepper and pink salt just to taste. Who else needs salt? I'm like kind of like scared of over salting things but whatever. And then we're going to just take a little sprinkle, a little dash of some nutmeg and then we're gonna mix it all up. All right, now that I have this whole mixture mixed up, I'm going to make the little raviolis. Okay, so now we are just going to take our vegan wonton wraps. I don't know what about them would not be vegan in general, but okay. We have a little bit of water, and you'll see why in a second. I'm just gonna place these. Like this. And seriously, just put like a little. You can get messy, it's fine. It's just one of those things. Make it with love. So, get a good amount on there. You know what, do whatever you want. But this is how I like it. Now that we've got that part, we are just going to get a little bit on our finger, get the edges wet, and you guys can do these like in any shape you want. I used to do them in like little triangles, but then I figured out that this made life a lot easier. So you just take another one since the sides are already wet, you just squish it on there. And look, you 
would have a little ravioli. And you'll just do that with all of them. And then we will head over to the stove where we finish these babies up. not really fast um I just grabbed a handful of these out and I did not even count and it was the perfect amount look at that oh it's so satisfying when that sort of thing happens all right let's head over to the stove okay depending on how you want it you're gonna turn this um on to like a medium high heat if you want them to be more crunchy or a lower heat if you want them to be more like ravioli so I'm gonna take a lot of butter So our butter is fully melted, so I'm just going to put these on in there. Okay, and now they are done. And I, because I mean like see all that butter dripping off of there, I like to set it while it cools on a paper towel to soak some of that up because this is like super like comfort food creamy indulgent there's nothing wrong with butter but like it's a lot of butter for me like if you want it to be dripping that is totally fine you do it babe but I like mine a little less buttery all right and there you have it babes just let it cool off and dry off for a bit, and then we'll do a taste test. Forever sitting on top of countertops. Um, taste test time. I already knew they tasted amazing because I make these all the time, but it's besides the point. Um, I hope you guys try these, and I hope you enjoy. See you guys next time. Bye, dolls.